Yeah. See, I don't do that because I don't want people to. This is yeah. Don, and Don's had a head injury on May 18th of this year, and that's been four months ago. And uh, we're here doing some, we've done a preliminary evaluation. We've uh, found that she has 24 out of 25 symptoms on the persistent post concussive syndrome checklist that we have. And, uh, and most of them are pretty severe. Her average score looks like it's going to be somewhere between uh, oh, about a five and a half or six overall on a seven point scale. But we haven't done any testing yet with the prisms and we're doing that right now. So Don, thank you for letting me record this. I appreciate that. Uh, we're going to see what happens or doesn't happen. In front of you right here is a chart. It's, um, it's a, uh, the chart we devised for visual aliasing, I'm showing it to the camera right here. It's a, uh, a, just a straight line grade. And uh, would you pick that up and take a look at that and tell me if that bothers you, if that troubles you? Not too bad. Do you normally wear reading glasses? Uh, no, okay, not consistently. Good. So that's not bothering you too badly. What does not too badly mean? Are you, they're getting some illusions there? Some the lines they're, move. They're jittering or shimmering or waterfall effect? What's happening? They're shaking. They're like vibrating. Jittering. Yeah. Okay, that'd be a good word. Um, are you getting any colors in the white spaces on that chart? Mm -mm. Are you having any troubles with it, with any colors? Uh, wait, wait. Uh, the... Uh, with the lines being narrower and, 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 and wide, are they varying in their caliber yeah. as they go across? They do. Are you getting a large geometric ghost shape out in the middle periphery of that chart? What do you mean? Does it look like there's a, some, some ghostly kind of geometrics in there, either some triangles or some, some uh, mm -hmm. uh, hearts or diamonds or squares or rectangles or parentheses or anything? No. Nothing like that. Okay. Uh, does closing one eye make it more comfortable for you? Not really. Okay, switch eyes? No. Not really? Yeah. These are one prism doctor, base in prisms. Will you put those on and see if it changes the way the chart looks to you? A little clearer. A little clearer. Mm -hmm. How about the jittering? Is that jittering still there? No. The jittering is gone. Uh, the lines of the count, uh, the lines behaving themselves now as far as the, uh, the amount of sp space in between them, they are more straight. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, they still seem, mm -hmm. when I look from the top to the bottom, they mm -hmm. seem to move a little bit, but once I focus and get them mm -hmm. in focus, it does, mm -hmm. they seem the same. Okay. Would you take the glasses off? Turn the card over, and when you start reading the first paragraph, you know, these are the instructions of the protocol for this test, but just, we're going to use it as a re re word sample. It's pretty small, about 10 point print. Would you start reading it out loud for us? Just, yeah. Certain individuals presently, though, thought <clears throat> to mount up to 40 to 50 percent of the general population, and 50 to 60 percent of the clinical population. Could you put the glasses on? Neurophysiological. Let's see if there's a difference if you, if you can see or we can hear. A little bit clearer. <laughs> uh, neurophysiological, sociological differences in the functioning of their visual cortex that results in a heightened sensitivity to straight patterns. change. Uh, printed text with a 50% um, duty cycle. That is, the printed lines and the spaces between have a Take 50 glasses off. Now you said before uh, in that questioning that the, the print would tend to move on the page, mm -hmm. and that uh, you lost your place when you were reading. Did you feel that uh, there was any difference in those that quality when you put those glasses on? It was easier with the glasses. It was easier with the glasses. Definitely easier with the glasses. Uh, a one or two point difference on that were our seven point scale. I'd say More? it improved about a two. About a two, two. point improvement. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what that is improvement. Okay, what I'd like to do now is I'd, I'd like to uh, do, do a demonstration with you walking in the hallway. Mm -hmm. We're going to see how this affects your, your, your vestibular skills out there. So we're going to pause the camera, okay. change our scene of action, and go out there and we'll see what's going on. Thank you. Mm -hmm.